It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. Hey Dave. Well, James Harden is both famous and infamous with his skill at getting to the foul line. Some don't like it, but Harden says, free throws are a part of basketball. Either you're going to foul me or I'm going to score. Putting the pressure on the defense like that is tough, but that's what makes a good player. Kevin, no lies told there. Well, no doubt, David, he is one of the best. Thank you. We get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. You look at Houston. If the playoffs started today, they'd hold the number five seed. Of course, they're looking to build on that. And of course, Sacramento, they're down there in the 10th spot. Yeah, right now, though, the Rockets, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet. They've shown they can play with any team in the league. Now they need to do it every night, not just some nights. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's House in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento, Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Rashawn Holmes out there with Nemanja Bialica. And it's Barnes in at the three slot. Now here's Westbrook trying his luck from deep. Rebounded by Holmes. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Here's Fox. Got a hand on it. Westbrook scanning the floor. The three ball. Good on the three-point shot. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now, here's Holmes. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Robert Covington picks one up. And tonight, a battle of offenses that can really stretch defenses thin, Chris. As a former post player, talk about the advantages of being surrounded by great shooters. Well, you want to get double. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. You can be as aggressive as you want early or late to score as much as you can. Why? Because you want that defense to, to try to stop you. Because when they do, you just get it out to wide open shooters that can knock it down. And when you get double team, you know, even the hockey assist or the direct assist to a cat can really right. get their rhythm going. And then you put the defense in the quandary. A catch 22, do they stop you? Do they go to the shooters? And when you get the defense kind of thinking off balance like that, you start to have fun when you add back cuts, alley oops, spin moves, dunks, drive it to the hole, shooters. Uh, it, it turns into a fun game that way. A lot of options, you're right. Good on the second free throw. Well, when you think about the Kings, you know they are going to let it fly. The team is loaded up on players deadly from outside. They've adapted and embraced the long ball there. And that one's good. Westbrook. I like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot quickly. Fox against Westbrook. Right side, Fox. And Holmes throws it down. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Westbrook, no good. And the shooting with this Kings team last season, Chris, a major strength, as you said. Yeah, and their whole offense has benefited from it, Kevin. I mean, they were fourth in the league in three-pointers last year. Finding points won't be a problem for the Kings going forward. The wide open look here for Fox. Off target from three point range. And you know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. Quick fact for you guys PJ Tucker is the number one sneakerhead in the NBA, and it's not even close. The man owns hundreds and hundreds of kicks. In the 2018 playoffs, PJ wore 22 different pairs of shoes in 17 games. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And if there was ever a definition of a glue guy, Greg, it would be P.J. Tucker. He's so valuable to his team. You know, P.J. gives you production in every way, and his impact really goes beyond the stats. All the little things that coaches want their players to do, that's really the motto of Tucker's game. All three throws, good from Tucker. And most fans think of the Rockets as offense only, but that's not the case at all. No, G.A., I mean, they force a good amount of turnovers, and they trap pretty well. I mean, the defense has been solid for them the past few years, if you ask me. Nothing mind-blowing, but this team is certainly not one-sided. Fox, sweet little floater. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. For Houston, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Harden against Bogdanovich. And the rejection by Holmes. Fox against Westbrook. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. Harden against Bogdanovich. Outside, Fox. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And it's Houston on the break. Up the floor. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, it's easy to see how Harden's been the league's top assist man before. I mean, he makes the special feeds. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Barnes, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Houston's gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Westbrook against Fox. Misses the three. They get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be giving. Them. They get it back. Outside, Bogdanovich. Passes it to Bialica. Six on the shot clock. Barnes, bounce pass. Here's Fox. Here's Holmes. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. Yeah, he's averaging 80% from the line. And he has been as steady as they come at the strike. And he makes the first. This end of the season awards already being debated. What did it mean to you when you were named All-NBA? Well, it, it meant a lot, especially in my era, again, of playing against the best power forwards, I feel, in, in a group of all time. And so, so it meant a lot. There's only one power forward position. And so to be uh, on that All-NBA team, uh, it, it's something that's more special uh, to me than being an All-Star because it's not about being uh, the best 12 or 24. It's about being the best five in the league. And so uh, those moments were always special being named the first team in the year. And, and like you said, you played in the golden era of the best players ever to play that position. I, I tell you what, I think I played in the era where anyone that you would have picked in the power four from the Western Conference, uh, I couldn't have been upset at uh, over myself because everyone uh, played in such a dominating fashion. Their teams were winning, and I knew personally how hard it was to guard these guys one-on-one. -on -one. And Fox gets it to go. Well, to deal with the bigger defenders in the NBA, Fox had to learn the floater. I mean, as you can see, he learned it pretty well. Outside Westbrook. That three off the mark. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Over in the corner, Barnes. Tries again. Stolen by Tucker. And here comes House, leading the fast break. His first shot coming late. Again, the Rockets score. 
And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. Trailing by two. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Now, here's Holmes. Five points in the game. Offensive rebound. Barnes. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, I like the opportunistic energy from Barnes right there. Really putting the defense in a challenging situation. The seventh overall pick in 2012 out of North Carolina. Harrison Barnes won a title in Golden State. Signs the big contract with Dallas, but yet to achieve the stardom that many predicted back in high school. First one falls for him. Greg, you look at Harrison Barnes. Uh, what's his best role? I mean, Kevin, he's a hard worker, able to hit the spot up three. Defensively, his strength gives him some versatility, just a solid contributor. Mac Lamore's checked in for Houston. No good on the second free throw. No, the professionalism that Barnes brings to the floor is invaluable. I mean, he's someone that comes in and wants to contribute in any way he can. It gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. The Kings trail by three. Fox looking it over. From down in the low post, it goes. Fox has got six. Oh, and look at the strength of Fox. Amazing how he maintains control despite getting roughed up a little bit. Westbrook passes to McLemore. Bogdanovich against Harden. Dishes it to Covington. It's good. Six points for him. Now what confidence from the rangy swing man. I mean, <laughs> he knows what it takes to convert from there. To the middle. Here's Holmes. Rebounded by Tucker. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist from Covington. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Sacramento's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Pass to Fox. Pass to Holmes. Five to shoot. Bogdanovich. That's for two. That one off the back iron and out. That's high quality defense right there. Read the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Man, awful display from him so far. But, but you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Now, here's Fox. Following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Shot by Bielita and nobody around. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Westbrook with the bucket. And the Rockets lead by seven. Oh, they've tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves time playing out, in the out. system. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Started. Hey, Chris, there's a lot to like for this Kings franchise right now. Fans have got to be excited about their future. Yeah, and credit my man Vladi in the front office for rebuilding. They got lots of great young talent, and they kept their picks. The team should be a big factor in the West in the coming years. the new group on the floor for the Kings. The Rockets also changing it up. Jeff Green is checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Bahamute comes in for Robert Covington. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Now here's Joseph. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Healed outside. For three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. 
and they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Rivers dishes to Emba Amute from deep Harden. He can't get that one to fall. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Chris, middle of last season, plenty of drama around the AD trade request. Davis wanting to leave New Orleans. Some say all publicity is good publicity. Uh, but Commissioner Silver clearly does not agree. Yeah, I, I don't agree either, and I think if you go back, uh, the Lakers would say that's a self-inflicted wound. Now, some things are best left in the locker room. Let me tell you this. Every team tried to trade for AD except the team that didn't have him last year and maybe the Golden State Warriors. So everyone was out there. It just wasn't the rumors. And so, no, you never really like those rumors. They affect young players. They, they affect the player that may be being traded for. They affect the home fan base. Uh, they affect everyone. So you want to try to keep all of that in-house. Uh, some things are better left unsaid. Damari Carroll's checked in for James Harden. And Parker drops them both. Well, Mike D'Antoni, uh, he's a legendary coach in this game. He's found success at almost every stop he's coached at, only missing a title to cement his legacy. Now, here's Green. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Jabari Parker. And with Mike D'Antoni, Chris, you can see his influence as a coach throughout the NBA. Yeah, a lot of modern offenses borrow from things uh, D'Antoni created. The up-tempo early offense is a product of his seven seconds or less era. I mean, his imprint is all over the NBA. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Oh, the former Georgetown Bulldog, Jeff Green, now a veteran in the NBA. I mean, he's bounced around the last handful of years, but he's a smart player who still knows how to make an impact. And both free throws good for Green. And for Green, who is almost out of the league due to a heart condition, he's had a great career. He has, uh, Kevin. I mean, he's never been an all-star, but his production has never been lacking at any of his stops. I mean, lately, Green has been best as a leader for the second unit. He came up with a handful of scores every game. Here's Rivers. The Kings getting the bucket. He dishes it to Green. Back to Rivers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. It's Rivers on the wing. He's covered by Joseph. Puts it up from 12. The shot misses. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Now the pass to Baseman. On the wing, heel. Off target from outside. Rockets leading by five. Poked away. And here's McLemore. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Nailed from three-point land. Oh, it's big when Rivers connects from outside. Really helps space the entire floor for a squad. And it's Joseph with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Here's Parker. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. This is a list of the guys that have been dialed in at the free throw line lately since the All-Star break. No one has been better. Second is Buddy Heald. And one look at his numbers since the break, and Shoot you two. can see how comfortable he's been at the foul line.
That free throw good from McLemore. Ah, uh, the former Jayhawk McLemore, a gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. And McLemore drops them both. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. The Kings trail by 10. There's 126 left to play in the first. And Joseph kicks it to Bazemore. Shot clock at six. Back to Joseph. For the three. Three with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. One oh six left here in the opening quarter. Here's Rivers. It's deflected. Pushing it up. Healed with the bucket. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, and defensively, you'd like to see a greater effort to change ends. Now here's Rivers. 11 points for him in that last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Now here's Green. Pocket six. The Rockets again can't hit. That's one he knows he should have drained. Right side, Joseph. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Green in the post. It's Rivers on the way. That one's good from the corner. Rivers has got five. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Rockets lead by 10. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to be a better leader. Uh, leadership was a huge thing, and um, I felt the way I reacted to certain plays and my facial expressions um, and my demeanor can change a lot for a teammate. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. Joseph and Heald make up the backcourt. Parker out there with Kent Bazemore, and it's Len in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Inside. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Green. Passes it to Rivers. Back to Green. Pass to McLemore. The three. And another three for Houston. And that three-point shot for McLemore is just cash. Don't let this guy get free from the perimeter. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, after years and years of rebuilding, the Kings are finally a team on the rise, and they're earning respect. Raymond Green said they've got a lot of young talent, never quit, probably the fastest team in the history of the NBA. Green said after he plays them, I leave the game exhausted. I go home, I'm dead. 
Kevin, we know that Green is pretty accustomed to going all out. David, he sure is. He's got a lot of engine in him. Thank you so much. And the length of Green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Jeff Green. There's a talk about lowering the minimum draft age from 19 back to 18. And Chris, how much of a difference does that one year make in a player's maturity? It makes so much difference I mean you're young you're coming into a league you're playing against yes. a, a grown men just physically your body hasn't been able to catch up how do you handle the travel being away from your family many times this guy's first time being away from their families that that long so it is a maturity process but, but at the same time it, it, there's only such a few and if you're one of the few that have the skill set and you're ready to come to this level we should welcome you with open arms now here's Parker He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Pass to House. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. Taking a look here at numbers for Buddy Heal. Breaking down his play since the All-Star break. Averaging about 16 points, three rebounds, and two assists. When you have a shooter like him off the bench, it makes scoring so much easier for the bench. Yeah, when he's taking on the scorer's role for that second unit, then the others can go focus on what they naturally do best. Now here's Parker. There's the pass to Bazemore. Shoots over Carroll. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Bazemore. Great work to find the space to get off the open jump. He's going to work hard for those. Now here's McLemore. T right on him. And McLemore slams it in. Oh, you can't forget about the speed of McLemore. Uses it so well on his drive to the hoop. Joseph against Rivers. Joseph, the pass to heel. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And really, for a long time, the specter hanging over Buddy Hill was he's the player who was traded for DeMarcus Cousins. Hard billing to live up to, but he has made some giant leaps with his development. That one is off. And Heald has slowly but surely turned himself into one of the elite shooters in the NBA. And guys, to be as locked in as he is from deep with his height and release is deadly. He's the kind of player who gets better as his teammates get better around him. And he is just now finding his stride. And the second free throw, good. Yeah, it's obvious that Hill is a talented player. Whether he takes that next leap to start him, that's up to him. 4-3, Westbrook. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Violets has got four rebounds in this game. Takes the 13-footer. Heald can't hit. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. And here's Covington from the arc. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. He can't be too far off Covington. He's skilled at sizing up the defense and firing once he gets it. And Len gets it to go on the assist by Heel. Len's got four this quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Westbrook passes to House. Now here's Rivers. And some nice passing there by Houston. Passes to Tucker. Back to Westbrook. Over Bielitsa. And again, the Rockets good for two. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. Oh, 
man. That's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. And that one's good, Barnes. A staple of Barnes' game right there. I mean, his mid-range shot is often on the money. So confident. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against the Lakers. And that didn't come at the cost of his defense. In fact, I think it fed his defense. He had four steals in that game. Tucker with the ball. Guarded by Lynn. Westbrook, no good. Well, he hit that one three-pointer in the first quarter. Still none so far here in the second. Covington with a steal. And he dunks it down. Oh, man, using that burst of speed to his advantage, uh, Covey looks to drop the hammer whenever he can. Fox with it. He has six. Barnes left side. The kick out to Fox. Pass to Barnes. Six to shoot. From outside the arc. Rockets with the rebound. Knowing the kind of competitor he is, I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. A nice shot by Rivers. Smooth handles from Rivers right there. Sometimes he's capable of surprising you with some of his moves. Here's Fox. He's coming off a 28-point game against New Orleans. Healed outside. The putback. It's good on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Westbrook. Bucket is good. Westbrook's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Fox against Westbrook. And Fox gets it to go. What a fiery competitor. I mean, it's evident that Fox loves taking on intense coverage and converting. Now Westbrook, 13 points in the game. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Alex Len picks one up. With every position creating offense now, which big men do the best job of scoring off the bounce? Uh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge uh, is in San Antonio. Coach Pop has given him the freedom. Um, and Joel Embiid, but we, we sleep on him because he's seven foot, but when he faces up in the post, he doesn't usually give you his back. He faces up, triple threat, gives you a jab step, a counter a in and out, Take a break. and gives you something nice. I mean, his ball handling mm -hmm. ability is great for a seven footer, and, and I like him B. And the first one drops. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Some changes for Sacramento. Rashawn Holmes comes in for Len, and it's Bogdanovich in for Heel. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Harden's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Well, the Rockets are a team that is pushing NBA theory to the extremes with how they approach offense. Oh, yeah. Every year they seem to go more toward threes or free throws. I mean, you can't fault them as it consistently works for them, though. I mean, it's like watching the team experiment with what makes an NBA offense. And the three ball is good. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. Now, here's Fox. Eight points for him. And that one, good. Fox has got ten. Rockets leading by 15. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got six rebounds here tonight. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Fox. They grab their own miss. Ilyza finds Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. Back to Belyitsa. And Robert Covington picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Sacramento making a switch here. Giles is checked in. On defense, the Rockets. 
And here is Fox. Ten points for him. Oh, this is what smart point guards do. Fox is adept at realizing the defense's mistakes and exploiting it. Outside Westbrook. No good on the triple. And not doing his team any favors jacking up three-pointers. He needs to realize that right away. From 12 feet out, here's Giles. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Well, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Westbrook passes to House. Here's Tucker. The Rockets again can't hit. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Fox passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Fox. Just five to shoot. Here's Holmes. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Holmes got his third basket of the night right there. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. The three from Harden. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He kicks to Fox. Harden against Barnes. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Rebound by House. Oh, he's not going to miss that shot twice in a row. Trust me. Covington passes to Westbrook. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Westbrook's got seven points here in this quarter. And terrific floor awareness. I mean, it's obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Now, here's Holmes. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Barnes. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Pass to House. And here's Harden. Covered by Barnes. Outside Covington. Here's Westbrook. Good work defensively by Fox. I don't think the D does good enough here. But something causes the miss. Barnes kicks to Fox. And the pass to Giles. And that one, good. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Last outing for Houston, it was a loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. 4-3, Westbrook trains it from beyond the arc. Westbrook's got 19 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Nine-point game is last outing. Fox. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Houston leading by 10. Got a piece of it. Here's Tucker. And it's in there. You gotta love the lower body strength and balance Tucker has. I mean, helps him stay in control on his drives. Here's Fox. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And what just drops your jaw, Chris, with Fox is just how quick he gets up and down the floor. <laughs> yeah, he's an absolute bullet once he gets out in transition. A good amount of his points come from just beating everyone else down the floor when he pushes the tempo. throw good Fox well the new arena for the Kings looks amazing see Webb just how much has this meant to the city oh it means so much to the city GA I mean ownership has been wonderful it keeps the team here long term uh, It's revitalized the whole downtown uh, and Sacramento is a city that has thrived with the addition of this arena that one misses yeah, it's no doubt that Houston now uh, is championship. Ooh. 
I mean, come on, man. Harden is ridiculously clever, including how he decides to posterize you. A superb athlete. Fox against Westbrook. Fox, no good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. 17 points was their biggest margin. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. Fox with it. He's got 11. Fires from deep. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Houston. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 15. Kenny, what's your take? Well, you look at the explosiveness of Russell Westbrook. Even when defenders have position on him, he can accelerate past them and rise above the rim. He's a terrific athlete who plays with a sharp edge. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? They were brick city and it was painful to watch. Weak shooting starts to get contagious and they were struggling all over the place. They gotta work on getting more high quality chances, more layups, fewer prayers. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game, he has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The Kings trail by 15. And on the floor for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Robert Covington. And it's House in at the small forward. Here's Barnes. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Barnes has got the first points of the second half here for Sacramento. Outside Westbrook. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for Sacramento. On Sunday... They'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Tuesday, they'll go up against Chris Epps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And for their matchup with the Magic, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan, as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Westbrook. The Kings trail by 15. Here's Bogdanovich outside Fox. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robert Covington picks one up. Well, that's what you want to do. Fox forces the defender to commit, gets him in a tough spot, and gets the trip to the line. The Kings have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. Shooting two. First free throw is good. 
But what you love about Fox is the edge he plays with, a competitive, aggressive player who feels like he can take on anybody. Fox hits them both. Rockets leading by 13. Harden up top. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Greg, when you're discussing and comparing James Harden and what he's done these last few years, he has to do it on a very historic level. He's going to go down as one of the best to ever play the game. His production is incredible, and the skill level really is groundbreaking. Easily the best off guard in the league. First free throw is good. Well, sometimes it just looks unfair with the way Harden can create space. And then, Chris, he'd get that shot off. Come on, Kev. It's just sick. His step-back jumper is a thing of beauty. I'm not talking about his almost travel double step-back, just his regular one. I mean, he has so many tools to create space with his footwork, and he makes the most out of what you give him. And both free throws good for James Harden. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Harden against Bogdanovich. Here's Fox. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Fox has got 15 points. Uh, the defense can't do anything about that. I mean, sometimes Fox just beats you with better offense. Passes it to House. Outside Westbrook. Houston moving it around. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by House. 12 points for James Harden. Uh, he's so dangerous from out there. Harden can beat you off the catch, beat you off the bounce, beat you in transition, beat you when you sleep, beat you when you wake. He, he can beat you. Rockets leading by 16. In the corner, it's Westbrook. And it's off from three-point range. For Sacramento, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And Fox gets it to go. That's three of four here to start the half. Houston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Westbrook passes to House. Pass to Tucker. Outside Westbrook. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Kings trail by 14. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Fox. It's rebounded by Houston. Covington's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Back to Harden. Jacks up a three. And it goes for the fifth time in ten shots for him this game. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Bogdanovich against Harden. A pass to Fox. Knocks it loose. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have the jump ball. Cool, cool, cool. You two players. So it's Sacramento. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Rockets. 17 point lead, their biggest. 4 3, Covington. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got six rebounds here tonight. And Fox has it in the corner. Knocks down the three ball. Fox has got nine points here in the second half. And he's got his first three of the game. Took more than a half to do it, though. The pass to House. Back to Westbrook.
Pass to Tucker. Rocket six. Kicks it to Westbrook. It's hauled in by the Kings. Holmes got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Outside, Fox. Over in the corner, Barnes. From deep. It's rebounded by Houston. 17 points was their biggest margin. Harden kicks to Westbrook. Outside, Covington. From outside, off the mark. The Kings trail by 14. Now, Fox. 20 points for him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Fox has got 22. Oh, he's been dominant this court. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Harden outside. And stolen by Bogdanovich. And the Kings pushing it up now. Fox kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Fox. Pass to Barnes. Four on the shot clock. Over House. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Barnes. Uh, possessing a great shot selection. Barnes knows when he should be looking to score the ball. Here's Westbrook. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. Oh, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. More star players changing teams. The word tampering comes up, Chris. Is the league striking the right balance on enforcement? Oh, yes. Uh, and, you know, uh, Commissioner Silver, he knows all the tricks. He doesn't want it to be a police state, but he, he knows a, a wink from a wink. Right, You know yes. what I mean? So you got to draw some lines. But, again, how do you stop it? I mean, you know, if I'm playing on the Lakers and I say, wow, you know, I think uh, – Anthony Davis has the best eyebrows in the world. You know, you got to let me say that. And, and, you know, if that's recruiting, it's recruiting. So it's a fine line. And hopefully uh, the players have some fun with it. And hopefully uh, uh, Commissioner Silver does his best to police it while everyone uh, at the same time is working through with integrity. Here's what Sacramento is going with right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Heald comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Joseph in for Fox. And here is Joseph. He kicks to heel. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Rockets leading by 11. Left side, Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Joseph, the pass to Barnes. On the wing, Heal. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Heal's got seven. What timing from Heal. Love how he sizes up these opportunities as the pass is coming his way. Here's Westbrook. Good D by Barnes. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Outside, Joseph. Pass to Heal. Over Harden. No good off the back of the rim. Houston's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. From beyond the arc. And Russell Westbrook good for three. three. Westbrook's got 27 points. Coming off a big game. His confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Westbrook against Teal. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Ten points for him. I like how Hill runs the pick and roll. If he gets any separation off the screen, he's ready to fire. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Knocks down his second three of the half. I mean, he had two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work from deep. 
Joseph against Rivers. Sacked by Heald. Nobody around. Again, Heald missing. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. 17 points was their biggest margin. Buries it from three-point range. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. The pass to Heald. Now here's Len. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Westbrook against Heal. And yeah, we got a chance now to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for Harden. And the trend that he's going through with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about Take finding his own shot rather than Two creating shots. for his teammates. He may want to rethink that. That free throw missing. And though Chris, he's known mostly for his shooting, Buddy Heald has been improving in other areas as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about ball handling, playmaking. I mean, they're notably better from early in his career. He's a solid rebounder who is definitely not a weak link on the defensive side as well. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Giles checked in for Alex Land. Parker comes in for Bialica. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Harrison Barnes. He hits the second from the line. Houston leading by 16. Rivers looking over the floor. Here's Green. No good that time. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Hammers the alley-oop through. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. And he comes up with the deuce. Nine points for Austin Rivers. You see the quickness from Rivers right there. He's good at probing inside when he gets a chance. Joseph with the ball. Here's Bazemore. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And a perfect time here to look at all the teams that score the most points off turnovers. Here are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Fifth best, the Rockets. You know, when you make a mistake against this team, they make you pay. I mean, because they convert those turnovers into fast break points, and that really can Take be demoralizing. Take a break. Two shots. first free throw is good and one of the problems in the first half that shoddy work at the free throw line they needed to fix that and they've been much improved since the break and so Bazemore nails both of them Rockets leading by 14 Passes it to McLemore. Pass to Green. Kicks it to Rivers. And the three off target. Sacramento's gone two of five with the three point shot since coming out of the break. The offensive rebound. The layup missed. Rockets have gone seven of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Knocked loose. Parker with the steal. Oh, and here comes Joseph all alone. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Oh, no doubt that Buddy Hill can shoot with the best of them. It's encouraging watching him share the wealth as well. Shooting just one. One shot. Free throw good, Joseph. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. 
Now here's McLemore, covered by Heal. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, and McLemore is a total genius when it comes to tricking the D. So good at how he goes up into the contact on the shot. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First one falls. And McLemore drops them both. Sacramento with the ball. It's a 13-point game. Joseph against Rivers. Mba Amuche with the steal. And it's the Rockets on the break. And the dunk by Ba Amuche. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. Oh, Greg, that's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get. Running the floor beautiful. Here's Parker. Sacramento again missing. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. The Kings trail by 15. Baysmore on the wing. Uncovered. Count the basket. Baysmore's got four points in the quarter. This is the attitude Parker plays with. Someone who's very willing to give it up to his open guys. 59 seconds left in the third. Here's Green. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Green's got eight. I mean, he's out there on an island all by himself. I mean, good job to stay cool and train. That's tipped. Here is Mbamute. An easy two points on the layup. And the Rockets lead by 17. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Are using a good combination of size and strength. Healed muscles through the defense beautifully. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Feeds to Green. Buries it down low. Ten points for him. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. Joseph has an open look. Off target with his three. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for the Houston Rockets. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. Right back after this break. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Rockets leading by 17. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Sacramento, we've got Bogdan Bogdanovich. Fox is out there with Corey Joseph. Then there's Parker, and it's Giles in at the five. Now Joseph. There's the dish to Fox. But teardrop falls in. Fox has got 13 points in the second half. Well, we've seen more of this recently from Fox, a confident, efficient offensive player 
who looks to score often. And Abayamute kicks to McLemore. Here's Green. Sacramento grabs the miss. Giles has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Parker, and the dunk by Parker. What a powerful finish. Once you let Parker get ahead of steam. And for Houston, they're shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. Jeff Green on the wing. Over Giles. Green missing again. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Here's Joseph. It's rebounded by Houston. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Parker. Daniel House has checked in for Houston. throw drops for Jeff Green. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Joseph finds Fox. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Beyond the arc. The Rockets again can't hit. The Kings trail by 18. The feed to Joseph. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Rivers kicks to McLemore. Pass to House. And some nice passing there by Houston. Poked loose. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And some changes here for the Kings. By Alitza. He's checked in for Harry Giles. And it's Barnes in for Bogdanovich. James Harden. He's checked in for Houston. Russell Westbrook comes in for Rivers. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. He on the clock, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Oh, Harden is so good at finishing these and ones. I mean, he is just a thorn in the D side. Harden, no good on the free throw. Look, he's always a league leader in free throw attempts. I mean, Harden is so shifty, so strong, and he can beat you from any spot on the floor. Green against Barnes. That shot misses. Great D that time from Green. Here's Covington, and he uses both hands to jam it in. I uh, like whenever Covington is in attack mode. He's demonstrating how dangerous he can be driving inside. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Barnes outside. Two-time NBA champion Michael Thompson says the arm muscles, Chris, on today's players don't measure up with what they used to be. 
is that even important? You know, he, he's right, but I don't know how important that is unless, you know, you just want to bring the gun show to the games and then pull out the arms and the curls and say, check out these muscles. But now I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot different. And make no mistake, even though that is a true comment, Shooting two. the players of today are much more athletic than his day and my day. And I think that's because of technology. They understand core strength. They understand dieting. They understand rest. Uh, and so many, uh, they're, they're privy to so much information that we didn't have. But, yeah. Uh, no more curls. It uh, doesn't seem like there are any more Carl Malone 24-inch uh, pythons, brother, <laughs> out there in any of these games. Barnes hits them both. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Go, watch Russ. And here's Westbrook. The pass to Harden. Over Joseph. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Fox passes to Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. That gives him the double double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. And this is Fox's role. He's the floor general for this team. And, and, and that includes setting his guys up. Harden outside. Here's the teardrop. And the rejection by Holmes. Here's Joseph. And the shot is long. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Throw good green. And so he's able to get one of two. Chris, when Bielitsa is on the floor, he certainly gives this offense a different look. Yeah, Bielitsa does a fantastic job spreading the floor and opening the lanes for the rest of the team. He doesn't have to play 30 minutes to make his impact felt out there on the floor. Just key stretches to free things up. Westbrook passes to House. Harden against Joseph. With the teardrop. Rebound by the Kings. Holmes got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Down low, here's Barnes. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes timeout, inside. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Houston. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Tucker, he's checked in for Jeff Green. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said, this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. Let's see if they were listening, guys. Here's West oh. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. 
such a tricky cover inside. When Fox attacks like this, the defense responds with that same type of pressure. De'Aaron Fox. Taking two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Fox. Fox hits them both. Houston leading by thirteen. Now, here's Westbrook. Sinks that one from the post. Westbrook's got four this quarter. Yeah, taking it right into the teeth of the defense. And, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. <laughs> yeah, it's getting to him, G.A. I mean, the lack of communication, the lack of trust. Out to the wing. Passes to House. Fires the three. Rebounded by Holmes. Holmes got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Joseph with the ball, and it's Harden picking him up, and here's Barnes for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Barnes has got 11 in the second half, and so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets. And it's Harden slamming it down. I mean, come on. He, he's, he's playing with the juggling act. I mean, he's so clever with the ball in his hands. Just a master at creating space for himself. Outside, Joseph. Fires top of the key. Connects. The jumper drops. And now they're shooting it pretty well. That was not something we would have said in that first half. Here's Westbrook. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Bogdanovich is checked in for Sacramento. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. A good sign that he's getting to the line a lot here in the second half, putting pressure on the deep. Barnes outside. From downtown, that one no good. So Houston will take it the other way. Here's Westbrook, lays it up and banks it in. Westbrook's got 41. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. The Elitza misses. Rockets leading by 16. And here's Harden for three. It's good from long range. Harden's got seven now in this quarter. They're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. Timeout called by the Kings. Well, I love P.J. Tucker. He's a player that doesn't do a whole lot in the box score, but he passes the eye test. He plays defense. He's tough. He rebounds, and you know he'll hit that corner three. Now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. 
And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Barnes outside. Will it go? Holt controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. That one goes in. And Tucker, Chris, uh, the type of player who will do all the small things for a team. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need to be anything more than he is with the stars on his team, and he knows that. Tucker's a great glue guy. He sets screens, guards anyone, rebounds, hits his shots. Here's Barnes, and it's blocked. Well, you know defense is Tucker's calling car. He will pester you, aggravate you, get up in your jersey, make you think twice about trying to shoot over him. Harden, that's good. And, and perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Here's Barnes. Offensive rebound, Holmes, and Holmes throws it down. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. Yeah, G.A. such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Harden bounce pass, a nice shot by Tucker. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Left side, Joseph. The G League growing by leaps and bounds. One is now being brought to Mexico City, Chris. I mean, first of all, let's go back to last season. Did you see how crazy those fans were in Jurassic Park in Toronto? Yeah, they love it. Can you imagine Mexico? Oh, my They'll God. Love it. This you better be believe great. it. Mexico City, yeah. Let's bring everyone in, all the fans in. And what I really love is that it's for the home fan base. So when I think of the Toronto Raptors, I think about the city of Toronto. I think about Canada and how it's theirs. And even though we're one league, that team is theirs. And they take that pride on. And it just brings so much more excitement. Can you imagine all the people in Mexico City being excited for their team? Oh, I want to be at one of the first games when that happens because I know the crowd is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. I want to be there. Houston moving the ball around. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebound by Bialica. Sacramento's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Stolen by Tucker. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Rockets. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a two-to-one edge with only one left to play. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Russell Westbrook. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy. All his tools were on display tonight as he lit the place up. Pass to House. Just five on the clock. And here's Harden for three. Rebound by the Kings. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Holmes. Three-pointer. Barnes can't get it to go. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him, and he knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road.
And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with James Harden. James, what is it like when you're playing a team that's struggling and you have to keep focus to keep them down? You know what? If we look at the bigger picture and we have one goal at the end of the season, that's to be champion. So uh, we can't play down uh, to the level of our competition. You know, we got to go out there every single night and, uh, you know, be on the same page and try to give 100 percent effort. It's been a success so far, James. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.